Hello. Today we're in the Pilatus PC-6. It's not the sort of aircraft I normally fly. It's a bit too complicated for me. It's got awkward things like reverse thrust. Anyway, we're at Dunkswell. And, and Dunkswell is an airfield in the east of Devon. Uh, and it's been superbly upgraded by Super Spud. Uh, I'm discovering more and more airfields that he's uh, provided an, a free upgrade for. Anyway, let's just take a look and see where we are. Uh, I'll just zoom out uh, in East Devon, so the southwest of the UK still. And uh, the uh, at Dunkswell, there are a number of businesses, including the Devon and Somerset Flight Training School. And interestingly, to the southwest, we have the Devon and, Devon and Sunset Gliding Club. Uh, and uh, we'll just go and take a look at that in a minute. And then to the northwest, uh, there is another airfield, but it's disused. It's up Pottery. And there's a banger racing stadium at one end. So let's, uh, let's get in the air and have a look. Make sure the uh, parking brake is off and we're away. This is a short takeoff and landing aircraft. You can see we're already in the air. Um, one of the things I find a bit distressing about it is that sideways vision is not very good. But see the detail here of Super Spud's upgrade. There is an airfield memorial site near the Flying Club. And since we're heading in this direction we'll just go and have a look at up Pottery first. It, it's a glorious day and it, it is a glorious day. Uh, I can look out the window and see blue skies from my uh, home near Exeter and uh, see just over there in the distance is the Upwatery airfield. I, I, I might say this aircraft's quite complicated to see um, propeller controls and engine condition and the throttle, all sorts of things that I don't know, I don't have, I'm not very familiar with so I'll try not to play around with them scary thing is you can invoke the um, reverse thrust in the air so look if I if I close the throttle and then we start going backwards potentially better not do that too much there you go you see it sort of juiced to airspeed very suddenly but it's okay to go a little slow to have a look at up pottery and as you'll see this is a, a project I think because uh, it must be uh, there must be some interesting things to do with the uh, banger racing circuit down there below us um, uh, you can see quite clearly the airfield is disused I suppose this particular small area of England has got it served very well for airfields So let's head around, get some height back, and go to the other end of the airfield and look at the gliding club. We're in the Blackdown Hills, if you wondered. It's a rather beautiful area. I think it's classified as a, an area of outstanding natural beauty. Dunkswell, where we flew, f where we took off from, and the village of Dunkswell, just this side of it. So we're up to about 2,000 feet. That's far enough.
There is a parachuting business on the airfield at Dunkswell. And uh, also a racetrack. The Mansfield racetrack is over on one corner of the airfield. We'll have a quick look at that. Uh, Mansfield. Nigel Mansell uh, racetrack is over on the airfield. So now we're heading directly towards the uh, Devon and Somerset Gliding Club. There's not much to see because it's not been upgraded. So there's a, an interesting project to be had there. As we get close, I'll slow the aircraft down again. And we can take a flyby, fly past, see what's on the ground, which is not much. I think you can already see, it looks like there's a tree in the middle of the landed strip. That'll do. Oh, look at that. That really slows us down. More than I meant to. That's the reverse throttle. Now you can see the image of the... Um, Glider storage huts. And what the AI considers to be the appropriate buildings. And then trees in the wrong place. So it definitely needs some attention. It's the Devon and Somerset Gliding Club. Head back to the airfield and take a look at the Mansell racing circuit. And I'll see if I can use the reverse thrust properly on a landing. You can actually taxi backwards in this thing. I've discovered there are a few aircraft with this capability. Um, of course it's familiar to jet pilots and on airliners. It's how you slow down once you land and if you've ever flown at all you would have heard the uh, thrust reverses go on uh, to slow the aircraft after touchdown if you've been on commercial flights. So more or less right below us I'll lean over now and have a, a look. Uh, there's the raceway, there's the Nigel Mansfield track. Uh, an interesting day out could be had. A Dunkswell. So. I'm now going to uh, complete the circuit of the airfield and come in for a landing. It's a very easy aircraft to fly. It's just got a bewildering, bewildering set of instruments and switches. Most of which I vaguely know how to operate, but... Vaguely is not very helpful when you need them in an emergency. That's where we're going to. That's where we're going to land. And that's the uh, the problem. Looking out the side, it's it's kind of obscured by the aircraft superstructure. Okay, put some flaps on. pushing throttle down too far. <laughs> the noise. Takes some getting used to.
It is a nice aircraft to fly. Pilatus PC-6. Trust reverses on, bring it to a very fast halt. So, if I can figure out how to taxi this under control, we can cruise to the other end of the runway and have a look at the flying club, some of the scenery. You can see the industrial buildings to our right are well modelled. Other aircraft parked on the airfield across the other runway. And then we start to approach the, uh, the flying club. With a spurious BD-5. It's a model that seems to be used a lot in scenery. There we are. Parking brake on. Flaps into the retracted position. And... Can I figure out how to turn this engine off? I'm not sure. Never mind. Thanks for watching.